This seed has been used for thousands of years and people claiming it's reversing hair loss, not just slowing it down, reversing it. But I don't just jump on trends because TikTok says so. So I dug into the actual science to figure out is this real and does it actually work? Today, we're investigating the seed from top to bottom, what it is, why people swear by it, what the science actually says, and if you should even be trying this. So first, what are we even talking about? What's the mysterious seed everyone keeps bringing up? It's called fenugreek. And before you think, oh, that's just some spice, hold up. This simple seed could be a whole damn system that stops black men losing their hair. So I had to investigate it. And I wasn't just seeing random YouTube comments. I'm talking about traditional medicine across multiple cultures, Indian Ayurvedic practices going back centuries, Middle Eastern remedies, Mediterranean folk medicine, all of them using fenugreek seeds for hair. That's not a coincidence. When the same remedy shows up across different cultures, something's usually happening. Then I looked at what people today are saying, and man, testimonials are wild. I've been using fenugreek water spray and fenugreek mask for a little over a month now, and I see lots of baby hairs wherever I part my hair. But here's where I got skeptical. Comments on Reddit isn't proof. So could fenugreek work? Well, it has some serious compounds, stuff that might prevent hair loss forever. Let me break down the five things that can make these seeds a game changer. First up are the steroidal sapiens, which include a compound called diosgenin. The theory is that these compounds may act as natural DHT blockers, which is the hormone responsible for pattern baldness. Secondly, they contain the basic building blocks for hair. Fenugreek seeds are loaded with protein. Since your hair is literally made of protein, this helps rebuild and strengthen the hair strands themselves, which can reduce breakage. Thirdly, the seeds are also a rich source of iron, which is critical because low iron is a well-known contributor to hair loss. Fourth, is nicotinic acid. Think of this as the delivery system. It helps improve blood circulation to the scalp. And when you have better blood flow, it's easier for the hair to grow. Finally, it contains an alkaloid called trigonellin. This provides anti-inflammatory benefits, which creates a healthier, calmer environment for your hair to grow. So on paper, this seed is attacking hair loss from multiple angles. It's not just one mechanism. It's like a whole damn system. And here's the question we got to answer. Does this mean it actually works for hair loss in real people? Because theory is one thing, results are another. But first, if you want a personalized plan to fix your own hair loss, one that will look at exactly what you're doing wrong and how to fix it, then click the link in the video description. Now I had to look at the actual science. I wanted to figure out once and for all, will fenugreek help with hair loss? This is where things get complicated because there's one human clinical trial testing fenugreek for hair loss. Just one. It was published in 2006 and over six months, 60 participants took oral capsules containing fenugreek seed extract. The results look promising. Over 80% of people in the treatment group reported improvements in hair volume and thickness. Some folks even saw measurable increases in hair density. On the surface, that sounds good, right? But here's where it gets tricky. And this is exactly how scientists scam you. They didn't test fenugreek by itself. The supplement contained fenugreek extract plus biotin, iodine, selenium, zinc, copper, and B vitamins, all mixed together in one capsule. So when people improved, what actually caused it? Was it fenugreek, the biotin, the zinc? Was it everything working together? We don't know. On top of that, the outcomes were mostly subjective. People said their hair felt better. Feeling your hair is better, man, that isn't proof. So can fenugreek fix hair loss? Well, hold on. The answer isn't so black and white. There's three things we have to consider here. Firstly, we do know that the mechanisms make sense. Fenugreek has a lot of stuff that should help with hair loss. And secondly, if something has been used for thousands of years, then there might be some truth in it. But thirdly, Clinical studies cost a lot of money to run. There's no incentive for a company to prove that a natural seed works for hair loss because they can't brand natural. They can't trademark it and control the supply. That's bad business. So right now, the honest answer is we don't know for sure. Maybe it can work, maybe not. Personally, I think it could probably work. 
there's a lot of good stuff hiding in them little seeds. So look, if you want to give it a go, then here's exactly how to do it. Because most people, they're doing it completely wrong. They're using these seeds in ways that will never get them results. They buy pre-ground fenugreek powder from the grocery store spice aisle, mix it with water real quick, slap it on their head for 10 minutes, wash it off, and wonder why nothing's happening. Or they buy some cheap fenugreek oil on Amazon. No way to know if there's any active compounds in there. No quality control, just a bottle with a label. Meanwhile, you're wasting time and money on something that was never formulated right in the first place. So here's the proper method. Step one, get whole fenugreek seeds, not powder, whole seeds. They should be yellowish brown, smelling slightly sweet and maple-like. Store them in an airtight container away from light and moisture and make sure you don't buy pre-ground. The active compounds start degrading once the seeds are ground. You want them fresh. Step two, take two to three tablespoons of whole seeds. Put them in a bowl, cover completely with water, about one cup. Let them soak for eight to 10 hours. You can do this overnight. Just set it up before bed and it'll be ready in the morning. During soaking, the seeds will expand significantly. They will release mucilaginous compounds called galactominins, which creates the gel-like texture. Step three, drain most of the soaking water, but keep one to two tablespoons. Put the soaked seeds and that small amount of water into a blender or food processor. Grind until you get a thick, smooth paste. Consistency should be like Greek yogurt. If it's too thick, add tiny amounts of soaking water. If it's too thin, it'll drip everywhere. This is where most people mess up. They put it on their hair. You need it on the scalp. Take the paste and apply it directly to the areas where you're thinning, hairline, crown, the bridge, like, you know, your mid scalp, wherever you're seeing issues. Use your fingertips to massage it in with circular motions. Step five, leave it on for a while, ideally 45 minutes. Compounds need time to penetrate. If you wash it off too quick, you're not giving it a chance to work. Step six, rinse with warm water first to get most of it out. Then use shampoo to get the last bits of it. Now you gotta do this twice a week, not once, not every day twice weekly is the sweet spot based on traditional use. And finally, give it at least three months before trying to evaluate if it's working. Hair growth is a process. Now you know exactly how to use fenugreek to stop hair loss. But if you want to learn if rosemary oil can actually help stop your hair from thinning, then I recommend you watch this video next.